With an amazing amount of AI tools available, one of the most powerful tools are AI resume development tools. These tools are amazing in helping you update your resume and cover letter to help you get a step ahead and describe your skills, experience, and background as effectively as possible. Please, if you have a moment, support the channel with a subscribe and a like. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Let's first talk about the pros of these tools. First off, they produce amazing results very quickly. Many of these tools have great customizable templates that allow you to pick from a wide range of styles and options. And these options also include different industries and different levels of careers. Most important feature to these AI resume development tools is that they integrate ATS into their software. And you ask, what is ATS? ATS optimization helps you to include the essential keywords in your resume and cover letter that helps you get searched and found much more effectively by ATS services. Having ATS optimization ensures that your resume is optimized for your career and career focus based on applicant tracking systems that organizations use to review potential employees. Having your resume optimized for ATS is incredibly important as applicant tracking systems can help determine if you get interviewed or not even looked at. The other benefit of these tools is it can make Make tremendous recommendations towards skills that you may not have thought about adding and also help you with the language to add them effectively. Now let's talk about some of the cons of AI resume tools. Some of these tools can create generic content. They can lack a personal touch or an element of storytelling, which can best display your unique skills and abilities. Another con is that there are data privacy risks. Remember, when you're uploading your resume, you're uploading sensitive information that includes your name, your address, and a lot of experiences that help create a data privacy profile for you. The tools you use can pose a risk. Another con is the over-reliance of AI. Some people may rely too much on this tool to bring together their unique vision of their resume and cover letter for the job they want. It may lack a personal review of what is being submitted and lack customization that will help them stand out. Additionally, if you're in a industry which has a specific niche, some of these tools are not going to necessarily support the nuanced language, skills, and responsibilities that might be in a traditionally developed resume. So before we get into these tools, let me give you a few items to consider. Verify the tool's data privacy policy and data handling practices. Tailor the AI-generated resume to reflect your unique personality, traits, skills, and abilities, and also be able to include your unique career achievements. Ensure that your resume is compatible with the ATS used by the employers you're targeting. So that might take a little bit of research to identify what ATS applicant tracking systems are used predominantly in your main area of employment or where you're seeking to be employed. Test the output you get with job descriptions to assess relevance and quality. When you compare your resume to the job descriptions that you're targeting, do you see a connection between how the skills are reflected in your resume and cover letter that can be effective at addressing what is being asked for in a job description. Those are just a few considerations before you start using these tools. So let's get started. The first tool I'm going to go into is resume Io. The first feature is that it includes a user-friendly interface with drag and drop features, and it has ATS optimized templates for a wide variety of industries. Additionally, it has a built-in AI cover letter generator to support the resume you're creating. And within the platform, it will generate analytics to determine how often your resume is viewed. Resume.io stands out for its outstanding customization options. It's highly intuitive to use and the ATS templates are great to have. However, it could be more integrated with other applications and its privacy policy is clear. There are still some unanswered questions around their data handling. For a DFE score for resume.io, I'm going to give it a 4.5 for features and tool sets, a 5 for usability, a 3.5 for potential integrations, a 4 for data privacy, and its pricing is also a 4 for a total score of 21 out of 25. The next 
tool I want to talk about is zeti.com forward slash resume builder. Zeti provides a comprehensive guide for writing resumes. It provides real time suggestions, which are tailored for specific job roles. It has multiple export formats, such as PDF, Word, and text. It also has in app tips and examples to help enhance resume content. Zeti offers solid usability and excellent real time content suggestions. And it's a great option for career seekers who want additional support and guidance around writing a resume. However, it does have a lack of integration options and it has a slightly higher price point can limit its overall appeal. For its DFE score, features and tool sets a four, usability a 4.5, potential integrations a three, data privacy a four, and pricing a 3.5 for a total of 19 out of 25. The next tool I wanna to talk about is Novo Resume. And this is found at NovoResume.com. It features modern and minimalistic templates designed for readability. It can tailor individual sections to specific job postings. It includes professional summaries and skill ratings, and it has collaboration features for multi-user editing. Novo Resume excels in design and user-focused customization. This is particularly true for those working in a collaborative environment. While the privacy practices could be clearer, its affordability and user-centered features can make it a reliable choice for a wide range of users. For its DFE score, features and tool sets are a four, usability is a four, potential integrations is a four, data privacy is a 3.5, pricing is a four. This is for a total score of 19.5 out of 25. I encourage you to investigate these tools on your own and determine how well they fit your needs. To give you an idea of how I calculate my DFE score, for the topic of features and tool sets, that's based on the depth and functionality that's provided by the resource. For usability, that's the ease of use and user experience, and that's included for all levels of expertise. For potential integrations, that's the ability for an integration with other resources or other software. For data privacy, it's transparency and safety and a clear explanation of data handling practices. And for pricing, it's the affordability of the resource compared to the features that are offered. Each is measured on a zero to five scale with five being the best for a total of 25, hoping to provide a balanced perspective, but also citing effectiveness. I now want to give you a quick list of other additional AI resume tools that are out there for you to potentially check out in your process of this search. The first one is Enhance CV. This focuses on visually enhanced resumes that also have interactive features. The next is Kick Resume, which offers AI generated suggestions and language support. The next is JobScan, jobscan.co. This has an ATS focused analysis and keyword optimization. Then you have Canva, canva.com. Customizable design templates for professional resumes. Next is Resumunk. This is a simple tool with affordable pricing and export options. Then we have Visual CV. This focuses on multimedia rich resumes. Then there is Resumup, R-E-S-U-M-U-P.com. This has career mapping and infographic style resumes. Next is My Perfect Resume, which has ex expert review services included with its software and AI tools. Then you have Cake Resume. This is a drag and drop tool with free and paid options. So I hope I've given you something to get started with in terms of researching the right type of resume development tool for your needs. And ultimately your decision should base on not only how much you want to integrate AI into this process, but you should determine what your long-term goals are and identify the tool that can help you get there, whether that's updating for specific skills Skills, whether it's updating specific language in the resume or tailoring for applicant tracking systems, you need to identify a tool that's going to work for you in the best way possible for those purposes. And be sure to make your resume unique, tell a personal story, and provide your unique value proposition to the employer. So as you review tools, be sure to keep an eye out for usability, integrations with other applications, the appropriateness for your purpose, and upgrade to your resume. And if you feel like you can add your specific specific story and unique value and skill within the framework of the resume. I hope I've been able to give you a place to get started. Please, if you have a moment, support the channel with a subscribe and a like. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Thanks for checking out the channel.